Hello everybody, welcome to our Monday Motivation Series. I know it's Tuesday today, but we missed out yesterday. Today I want to talk a little bit about tips to be more productive when working or studying from home. So firstly, you need to make a decision. Am I going to be more productive? The choice is yours. And you, and only you, are going to make it happen. You are going to work smart, not hard. Work smart. The first thing you have to do to become more productive is to turn off your email, put your phone aside, put your social media somewhere else, distance yourself from distractions. That is the number one thing you're going to do. Okay? Five easy things that you can change in your routine to become more productive. Set an alarm clock. Wake up early. Change for your school uniform or your work attire. Remember, you're not going to school in your pajamas. And you can't like work in your pajamas all day. So dress appropriately at home. Yes, wear your school uniform. Then you have a mindset of, okay, I'm working now. This is my space and time now to do my schoolwork, whatever is required of me. Number three says take regular breaks. Instead of falling into a break trap, I would rather recommend have a timetable that you follow with scheduled breaks. And then you schedule your breaks half an hour or hour breaks, whatever you need, like a normal tea break, lunch break kind of thing. Number four, find a workspace. Okay, you can't work on your bed the whole day in your pajamas, uh -huh, watching Netflix. No, find your dedicated workspace where you keep all your stationery and your books and your bag and everything. Stick to that space. Make sure that space is user friendly. It's um, not, there's not noise or distractions and there's good lighting so you don't fall asleep all the time. And that is a space where you can work in. Have regular check-ins, okay? If there's somebody at home, your mom or your dad or your sibling, whoever, ask them to come like on an hourly basis. Just check in and ask you, um, so Fransley, how far are you? What have you done today? Just so that you can report back and get that feedback and make sure that you progress. Okay, some nine tips to get things done. Okay, very important. It says here, use a kitchen timer. All of us have cell phones. Set a timer on your cell phone for one hour. For the next hour, I'm going to do maths. And then you focus only on maths. And when your bell goes off, you can move on to the next thing. It says here, 20 to 30 minutes and focus and concentrate on finishing one task. So you finish your task. The next thing here is productive procrastination. So if you are a good procrastinator, use the time wisely and productively. Go for a jog, go cycle, do jumping jacks, exercise to make sure that when you procrastinate, you get oxygen in your brain and you get ready for your next task. Okay, set a mini reward system for yourself. Okay, so seeing that you're gonna do some exercise, it's okay to have that nice cappuccino or that lacquer piece of cake. Go for it. That is going to be your reward. Like I said in the beginning, use apps to block social, to block any social media because that is distracting. It can take up your whole day if you allow it to. Set a specific time to check on to check your phone or to check your email. Only at dedicated times, not the whole day. Okay, get your important task finished first thing in the morning when your brain is still fresh. So if you have a timetable, arrange your timetable accordingly or number your timetable in priority order. Okay, create a wall calendar that you can tick off so that you can feel, okay, I'm going somewhere, I'm progressing. And the last thing here is you know yourself. You know yourself best. So do whatever you know works for you and for your body. The last thing I want to say, guys, is believe in yourself. This time is going to pass and things are going to carry on as normal. But for now, you need to stay focused, 
try to be productive and work hard and believe in yourself and your end goal because you can make it. Your success is up to you. Thank you. See you next week. Bye. Thank you.